Hey y'all, what is up? Today I'm going to be doing an alkaline inspired heart of palm taco recipe and I'll be doing an alkaline seaweed salt. To begin, I'm going to start by chopping up my vegetables. If you do want this to be fully alkaline, please consult the Dr. Sebi list for approved vegetables. The veggies I chose to use today were squash and peppers. Now to make my alkaline seaweed salt, I took nori sheets and pulsed them in a blender. I tried to get it as fine as possible and I was able to get it to a pretty power-like consistency. I'm going to start sautéing my veggies with Dr. Sebi approved oil. I'm going to start off by using some onions, and then my squash, and then my peppers. Seasoning today, I'm going to be using salt, onion powder, ginger, sage, and crab food seasoning with the seaweed to give it an umami taste. In the pan, I'll cook them a bit, but not too much because I want to keep as much nutrients as possible in the veggies. If you've never seen Heart of Palm before, here's what they look like fresh out of the can. This is the salad cut. And here's what they look like chopped. I'm going to go ahead and pour some grapeseed oil and then put them into the pan with the seaweed salt. I'll brown them to my liking. I like them pretty brown. And then once these are done, we're ready to assemble our fish tacos. So I'll go ahead by putting in the veggies into my tacos. And then I'll put in the heart of palm. And for some freshness, I added some avocado. I don't believe I had any greens, so the avocado was kind of like my saving grace. And then for dressing, because I love me some sauce, I used the Bragg's sesame ginger. Now, I don't believe everything in this taco is Dr. Sebi approved, but I'm not 100% alkaline. I just use it as a basis for what I eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe video, and if you make your own tacos, let me know down below. Tag me at the brown yogi. I want to see how you guys get creative. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.